Hey guys, I hope you guys are enjoying these tutorials. I have the next one ready for you. Today we're going to be making my own recipe. It's for chocolate chip cookies. I love cookies more than anything else, more than cake, more than pretty much anything except maybe ice cream. That could be a tie. But um, I've been experimenting and I always love to add fun ingredients, but there's nothing like a good classic chocolate chip cookie. So that's what we're going to be baking today. So the first thing I'm going to do to make my cookies is add my butter and sugars to the bowl. And then I'm going to cream those on high for five minutes. And all creaming is, is making sure that you go from kind of a clumpy looking mess into something that's very like fluffy and light. You'll see the entire thing will increase in volume and get a lot lighter in color. Once everything is nice and fluffy, I'm going to add my eggs and my vanilla. And we're just going to pulse those in until they look combined. This just means you won't see any chunks of egg or any streaks of vanilla. Everything's gonna come together nicely in the bowl and that's how you know that you've mixed it enough. You are gonna mix it on a high speed like we did with the butter and the sugar and you will see that it'll get nice, light and fluffy. It's gonna be even lighter than it was with the butters and the sugar. So if you see that, that's a great sign. It doesn't have to triple in volume. We really just wanna make sure everything has all come together so it all looks the exact same. Once that's done, we're going to turn our mixer off and add in our flour and our leavening agents and our salt. So for the flour, we're just going to pulse it in slowly. We don't want to over mix this at all. The less you mix here, the better. You just want it to all come together into a dough. Once it starts to come together, even if it's not fully, fully together, this is when you can add any of your mix-ins. So for these ones, I just did chocolate chips, but if you're doing mini eggs or M&Ms or anything like that, you can add them here. For the big cookies, I'm using a large cookie scoop and I'm only going to scoop about six per tray. And because it's Easter time or springtime, I'm going to add a couple pastel colored M&Ms on top. Again, you could totally add these in to your batter or to your mixture, but I really just want to add them on top so they had a fun spring look. Because I want my cookies to be chewy in the center and only a little crispy on the outside, I'm going to bake these at 365 for 10 to 12 minutes. If you're okay with a slightly crispier cookie, bake them at 350 for 14 to 16 minutes. Again, this totally depends on your oven and size of your cookie. I hope you guys enjoy!